Hello, my name is Sheikh Fabi. I welcome you again to our lecture series. Uh, today, we want to look at uh, some use specific image classification. Image, class, image classification is a procedure of categorizing images into uh, smaller uh, images because usually images, the pixel values in images are usually uh, vary, vary tremendously. So we want, we want to classify them or group them into smaller uh, classes so that uh, it can be easily understood by human eye. That's why the fact that the, the, the computer system can, can recognize different uh, variations in images, in color combinations, in pixel values. But human eye is not trained enough to recognize beyond anything above 16 classes. Human, human eye cannot really differentiate between them. So, but the use specific image classification is when we want to extract a particular land use from the general land use types. We have different types of uh, image classification. We have the supervised classification. We have the unsupervised classification, which we usually call cluster analysis. But today we want to look at uh, just use specific image classification. When we get there, we are going to implement this in a Drisi environment. This is uh, the image of Nigeria that has been classified using uh, supervised classification techniques. Uh, we have classified Nigeria into is it this Landsat image of Nigeria. And we have we combined different classes together. We combined uh, band three, band four, band five, band six, and then we got a condensed image. And then we did class, we used about 1,700 training data to classify it, to classify it into uh, 12 classes. Uh, 12 classes include the uh, on the stop forest, the stop forest, uh, mangrove, and all sort of things. So we have 12 classes. Uh, these 12 classes, I uh, want to now extract it and get only the water body and others. We want to extract the water bodies and others. So what we need to do first is to use our identifier to check what are, where are the water bodies. So then we have to look at the water body. What is the pixel value of the water body? Is the pixel value of the water body is 12? It's 12. It's 12. You can go around and check the water body, the pixel value of water body. So we want to extract out only the water bodies and others. So that maybe you want to measure the total volume of water body we have in Nigeria. So if you have data like this, it can be, it may not be as dense as this. But uh, it may not be as discrete as this. It may be very, it may be, it may very. For instance, if you are using the raw Landsat data, you may not get one single value for water body. You may get a, a range between zero to five to six because all the the vegetal cover are the are the on the on top of the water, like water weeds and all those things. You also be classified. Uh, they, there will be some form of misclassification. But here we have done a lot of uh, training data, which we have trained the computer to give us a discrete uh, uh, data data set. So now we now discover, we now know that in Nigeria now this class twelve is the water body. Class twelve is water body. We want to extract water body from this data. So that's the procedure we want to do now. We are going to use there's a pudding for there's a reclass. As a class tool in Idrisi, which is always like a pruning fork, uh, a pruning fork, two pruning fork uh, on this. So when you click on this, it will give you the reclass or image classification reclass method, or what we call use specific image classification method. So we want to use image, and then there's, an, there's a place where you can actually have the user defined classification. You also have option of equal interval class. class. In this one, it, it means just you don't want to divide it into different uh, classes using maximum likelihood. But here we want to do user defined. And remember our last 
we, we, we have observed or we have looked at the pixel values, the pixel value that carry the water body is 12. So we want to extract out only the water body from the data set. So our input data is um, 2006 data, LUSC 2006, and then our output is a water body, water. Oh, let's say water body, water body. If we, if we don't put, if we put, if you if you put it here, if you click on this, it will take you to where you want to save it. But since I want to put it in the tutorial uh, folder so that it can easily be uh, located, that's why I decided not to use the the my archive. So now. We want to say assign if what value do you want to put on our water do it was 12 here but we want to put a value of 60. so so that 60 will be uh this is just a representation just classes because out of the 0 to 256 you can choose any color it's just showing the symbology we want to use so assign a value of 60 to value ranging from 12 to just less than 13. Assign a value of 60 to all values from 12 to just less than 13. So assign a value of zero to all those ranging from zero to all value less than 12 because 12 is our data that we want to extract out then we go to this the next one assign a value of zero to all those ranging from we have to look at 13 from 13 to 999 this is to every other thing that may be there so that we now have two data sets water body and others. So you click OK. Once we are done, it's going to work. And when it is done, you can see it is working here. The reclass is 7% and, and so on and so forth. And when it completes, it's going to give us the water body. And you can now do the same thing for uh, 2016. I can get the water body in 2016. When you get water body in 2016, you can now check the volume, the total land area of water body in 20, 2006 and total water body in 2016. When you get the two data together, it is easy for you to actually combine the data and check the changes taking place there. Uh, we are going to also look at the changes taking place. Uh, whether the water is changing to something else within the two period uh, using the so I'm going to use another data now uh, here I'm using 2016 and I'll call it water body 216 2016 and then the same um, the same value assign the value of 60 to those from 12 to 13 we click and that one also we work in the background. Why is working in the background? What is the purpose of this use specific uh, classification, especially in the, I say that this disk is full. Uh, okay, we are going to create some space. Okay, so we, we have resolved it now. This is uh, 2006 water body in Nigeria, 2006 water body in Nigeria, 2016. Uh, let's do the same palette to open the two of them. Let's close this. Uh, let's close this there, and then we can go to where we save them. We save them in uh, our, our E drive and uh, 
this is the water body 2006 then we can use Idrisi palette qualitative to open and we can put the type to that's a water body 2006 and then oh sorry okay yeah so that's water body 2006 and let's open water body 2016 using Idrisi qualitative yeah I have the water body in 2000 in Nigeria in 2006 and water body in Nigeria 2016 uh, if you want to check what is changing because now we have water body and others we can see some changes in the water body in these two periods so we can go through, we can use, uh, uh, we can check changes, change analysis in these two area by using, remember, remember the, the last time we use a uh, cross tab to check the changes taking place or let's use today, let's do regression, whether there is a change, whether there is a relationship between these two, uh, these two uh, area. Uh, we want to see whether there's a there's a there's a image file. We want to look at the dependent variable, whether there's a change between the two or between the two data sets. Uh, 2016, whether whether 2016 is dependent on the 2006. Uh, the purpose of doing this is to check whether there's a major change. If, they think, if there's a perfect correlation between the two image between the two data sets, that shows that there is no change in the water body. There's no change in the water body between 2006 and 2016. If there's a perfect correlation, for instance, let's say the correlation value is one, that means the water body remains the way it was in 2006 in 2016 that's why there's no change but when there's a difference when there's a difference in between these two data sets that shows that when there's a relation when there's a cor then the correlation is less than one that shows that uh, there's a difference that means the water body has changed between the two period so we are we are going to it's going to take some time uh i'm going to pause so that we don't waste our time this is the relationship the regression value uh the r value is um, 0 0.6 i see the r value is 0 0.682303 and then the coefficient of determination is 46.5 percent so we can say that the two images are quite are a little bit different. That shows that there's a change. Change occurred between 2006 and 2016. Then we can see, we may want to go deeper into what are the kind of change that took place. And the way we can do it is to use cross tab. When we use cross tabulation, we cross tabulation, cross tabulation is one of the methods we use to check the changes taking place between one place and the other. So we pick a first image is 2000 and, uh, 2006, and the second image is 2016. And uh, we can look at uh, what is happening. And then uh, we want to use uh, the output image because we also want to have, we want to check what the output should be. The output can be image alone, or it can be image and table. It can be uh, both classification, cross application and table. So we call it uh, the image. We call it. Um, uh, let's pick the place where we want it to be. Uh, call it a image change. And then 
we can say we want a Kappa index of agreement so that we know what are the, the level of accuracy of our change, what our level of, what the level of accuracy that our change is taking place. This this has a lot a lot a lot of applications. For instance, we want to look at whether the whether the water body in Nigeria is changing, and we want to see whether there is a water loss, the water resources we are losing water resources, or the climate is changing. A climate is changing that the water there is a sea level rise. You can use that one to estimate the sea level rise in the low, in the in the coastal region, whether there is incursion of water into the, into land, so that we have we are having more water, or the lakes are drying up, the Kanji Kanji Lake and some other lakes in the north are they drying up, or also whether um, Chad Basin is drying up. You can use that one to check the changes taking place in the water body, and this has a lot of a lot of application. Also, we can we can pick a particular a particular vegetation cover because we have classified mangrove. You can check what is changing in mangrove uh, level at that time and now, and this has a lot of uh, application potential. I'm going to pause this thing so that you not uh, waste our time when it is finished. When the process is finished, it's about eighty percent now. When the process is uh, over, I will activate it again. Yeah. The cross starvation has finished now. And you can see the table. The table is on the right side, while the image is on the left side. And you can see the legend, uh, the area that was zero in 2006. That means, you know, we classified it into zero other areas, other land use types to be zero, while water bodies should be 60. So we can see that the area that was zero before in 2006, that also zero in 2016. Area that was uh, 60 before in 2000, and that was water before, what has changed in 2016 is, is in white. And the area that was uh, zero before, that was other land use before, what has changed to water body, in 2016 is in green, while the one in amber is the one that was 60 before that was water body before in 2006 and also water body in 2016. And you can see uh, the, the category is air. That means the one that was zero and zero before is total area, total area of uh, you have to multiply this because this is pixel. This is pixel value and the pixel, the pixel size is 28 meters by 28 meters. So you have to multiply this one by the 20 by 28 meters. So the, this is the area that was zero before, that was uh, other land use before, other part of the country that was land use before and also remain zero. But these are the area that was that changed from water body to something to other land use type to water body and these are the area that change from water body to other land use type the area that changed that was remain that was water body before and also water body so you can see zero to zero zero to water body and uh, you can see water body to zero and water body to water body we discovered that the, the same value you have for the water body to water body are the same. So that is the, and this Kappa index of agreement shows the level of uh, reliance, reliability that you can see is that 0 0.7 for the category 0, for category 60 is 0 0.6, which means the level of confidence we can place on the change analysis we have done. And the overall Kappa index of agreement is 0 0.6, which is very good enough. If anything above 0 0.5 is good. So that is how you can use user-specific uh, classification and can help you to do, let's say we are doing water analysis, water resources analysis for Nigeria. That's the way we can do it. We can extract water body from other land use type and we are good to go. Thank you for listening for our lecture.
uh, we welcome you to subscribe to our channel so that you can have uh, update on our program. Thank you so much.